Before you clicked on this video, you probably didn't expect me to wear such a shirt and most of you probably think that this shirt looks horrible. But I'm not wearing it because of the red and white colors, I'm wearing it because of the message it's the real thing which is printed on it. And you know what the real thing is? The real thing is if you like this video before it actually has started. Hey, how are you doing? Peter Lindgren is known for his amazing B-roll videos on YouTube, but he also knows quite a lot about filming cinematic GoPro footage, so I thought I would break down his GoPro filming style and show you how Peter Lindgren makes his GoPro videos look amazing. So let's start right away with the settings he uses. Peter uses for his cinematic GoPro shots 4K with 60 frames per second and a wide field of view. He didn't use linear because at the point he made his GoPro video there was linear not available yet for 4K60. Then he sets his color profile to flat, turns Protune on and lowers the sharpness. So that's how those settings I just showed you look like if they are unedited. So that's 4K60 flat color profile and a low sharpness and that's how it looks like. So once you set up your GoPro, you are ready to shoot and here Peter has some amazing tips to make your GoPro videos look more cinematic. The first tip is that you should move your GoPro not in a straight line, but more in a circle movement, especially if there are not a lot of objects in your foreground. Like that it just looks as if more was happening in your video. So that's me right now talking while shooting this shot and it's really important that you repeat the same shot over and over again because on the small GoPro screen it never looks the same as on your computer. So you want to make sure that you have different options of the same shot, only like that you can guarantee a high quality cinematic GoPro shot. So this curve movement is also not really simple, just try it a few times and then I'm sure you get the shot. And I'm actually wondering if I should open a second YouTube channel just for fishing videos. As you can see, that's my fishing outfit so I can go fishing later. And I'm curious if you actually would like to see those videos. I know there are some fishermen on the channel, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you would like to see them and if I should open a separate channel or just upload them directly on this one. Then the second tip is to rotate your camera to hide all those jitters which happen if you shoot handheld. In my opinion, it not only helps to make your videos look more stable, but it also helps to make your shots look more interesting. So it always looks super simple if Peter Lindgren is doing these kind of shots, but they are actually not that simple. I struggled quite a bit to get a good one because I not only want to have this rotating movement, I also want to have fast camera movements like that. I get an even more dynamic shot. I think my shots turned out great. I haven't seen them yet, only on the small screen they look good, but on the computer we will see the real results. But I think they turned out pretty well, I would say. Then third, he places his GoPro a lot of times close to the ground and moves it forwards or backwards. He didn't explain why he does that or I just missed it, but I guess it's that your GoPro shots look more dynamic. So while doing those kind of shots, don't feel afraid to look extremely stupid while being that close to the ground. That's completely normal. It looks horribly, <laughs> it looks horribly bad, but the shots will look great. All right, so after you got your Peter Lindgren like GoPro shots, you then want to recreate his color look in post. As Peter uses Final Cut and I'm using Premiere Pro, I'm just going to tell you very generally how he corrects and grades his footage. The main thing he does is lowering the mid-tones and raising the shadows to get more contrast. Then he grades his footage in the grading panel of Final Cut Pro. I'm just going to apply a teal and orange LUT to get the same look of this very tealish sky and then that's actually it. 
All right, thank you very much for watching and Peter, if you are seeing this, let me know if I summed up your GoPro filming style correctly. So that's it, subscribe if you don't want to miss the next video and then I will see you in a week or two.